ನಾನು ಮದುವೆಯಾಗಿ ಏಟ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಮಕ್ಕಳಾಗಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಇದ್ದಂಗೆ ನನಗೆ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷ ನಾಲ್ಕು ತಿಂಗಳಾಯಿತು ಅಷ್ಟೊಳಗಡೆ ನನಗೊಂದು ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಹೆಣ್ಮಗನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ದೇವಿಕಾ ಗುಣಶೀಲ ತಾಯ್ತನ ಅನ್ನೋದೇ ಕಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ವಿ ಇವಾಗ ತಾಯ್ತನ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ನನಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಅನುಭವಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ Gunashila Hospital was started in 1975 with, uh, by, by Dr. Sulochana Gunashila and Dr. Mahabhali Gunashila. So their main ambition was to uh, deliver a top class health care to the people of Karnataka and particularly Bangalore. Um, Gunishila Hospital uh, was the first hospital uh, in the state to introduce ultrasound in obstetrics, uh, laparoscopy in, in, obstet in gynecology and then uh, hysteroscopy and uh, laparoscopic sterilization camps which was very new in the world in those days, not only in India, in the entire world. and uh, their dream was to start a modern hospital in the south of bangalore and uh, they had they were very qualified uh, surgeons and gynecologists who had come from england and had spent about 10 years in england 10 or 11 years and uh, they came back with a dream of providing world class service to uh, the patients in india particularly bangalore because that's where they were from when i joined here Back in 1983, fresh after my MD, Dr. Sulochana Gunashila was heading this year, the hospital. And uh, even at that time, I was extremely impressed by her hard work and her continuous need for updating herself in the latest available technology at that time and also trying to bring it as quickly to this hospital as possible. Aristo was uh, developed in um, uh, Gunshila Hospital as an uh, additional wing for women who wanted uh, to finish their tests and to have the consultation done on a priority basis. basically uh, aimed at working women who don't have enough time to spend in the hospital. It also provides some amount of exclusivity. Uh, it also has another wing where uh, we have some deluxe rooms which are very well furnished with uh, air conditioning and uh, uh, you know television and all the other basic comforts and uh, this is uh, uh, aimed at uh, people uh, who actually want that little bit extra uh, when they come into the hospital. So the entire ambience there is to uh, make them feel very comfortable at ease without interference or somebody looking at them or staring at them or they don't having to look into the face of another person. So the seating is created in such a way and there's a lot of peace and quiet in that place and uh, if the one of the couple is getting evaluated the other person can sit and do their work also because we give them Wi-Fi and uh, they can find a quiet corner in the place and then continue to do their work. So that was the whole concept of uh, Kormangla whereby we felt that these are not 
patience in the true sense, but a young couple uh, just trying to have a kid. We are uh, very transparent with the treatment me methods that we use. We try and get the latest technology. We always invite uh, international faculty to come and spend time with us so that we are in touch with what is happening in the rest of the world. Yoga practices helps in for some of the pelvic stretches and all these things. Uh, helps in uh, increasing the blood flow, uh, especially to the uh, ovaries and uterus to maintain the health of the ovaries and the uterus, which is very important in childbearing as well as um, to get pregnant. It is a good thing to try and give significantly higher success rates than trying naturally. The combination of prenatal genetic screening along with IVF is all the more suggested for women of this age group to select the best quality chromosomally normal embryo to improve successful outcome. You will be reassured to know that the first born IVF baby, that is the Louis Brown, has conceived naturally and has delivered also. So that means that even IVF born babies can conceive naturally uh, without any uh, reproductive problems. So we should hope for the best. So basically, there were problems to conceive. So I went through IVF treatment and it was first time successful. Thanks to the doctor Devi Kagunashila and her staff. And they are very courteous and very nice very nice people so they treat you like a family it really was a miracle for us when we got the positive result here which is a result of our uh, And I am so happy after seeing her first time I took in my hand and I saw her face like uh, I can't explain what was that time the moment. Gunashila Hospital. The art of creating mothers. Gunashila Hospital. The art of creating mothers. Gunashila Hospital. The art of creating mothers. Gunashila Hospital. The art of creating mothers.